Uh, hello YouTube. Uh, it's been quite a while since our last repair video. And what I have for you today is the cluster out from Trailblazer. Somewhat did obviously try to fix before based on the multiple um, fingerprints. Looks a little gross. <laughs> and uh, when I try to turn on the cluster, it doesn't produce any noises. So, as you see, the displays are working properly. It's got a couple lights, most of them are uh, out. Uh, so, let's take a look inside. And by the way, there is no any kind of friction on the motors so it looks like the motors are new so my guess is um, it hasn't been, hasn't been properly soldered so let's take it apart and take a look all right we we have those black motors here and x27s here so obviously all of the original motors, motors has been uh, replaced another thing I noticed uh, you know besides all this crap some did press on this lower odometer uh, displayed pretty hard so I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it on camera so all the kind of mm, uh, contacts are, 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 are twisted so it's pretty much sits lower than it should maybe this is the good way to show you maybe not I don't know focus another interesting thing um, the contact uh, what is, where are you? the contact from this bulb is nearly touching the nearby what, what is it like um, capacitor I guess so someone so someone did a nice job and let's take a look what's on the other side um, great soldering in here um, same thing on that side um, as I see most of the uh, most of the traces are destroyed and let's make it an educational uh, video or maybe entertainment an entertaining video let's see if we're gonna be able to uh, restore those traces just to get it back to life the problem as I see comparing to the uh, Silverado clusters or Tahoe clusters uh, where uh, usually we can run a jumper is that on some of those contacts right here there is nowhere to run the jumper to so we're gonna need to take it into the consideration so let's remove all this crap and we'll see uh, what we should be looking at I don't know what kind of solder has been used but it's 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 a, it's a mess it's not, it's not a solder so there are literally no contact pads left at all This one is done. Uh, 
What surprised me? Why people doesn't stop when they ruin like one or two? Motors they continue to destroy everything. This one gonna be a challenge. There are nearly no traces on on this side of the circuit board. Where to run? You know the jumpers too. <laughs> the idea is like the more solder you're gonna put, there is a better chance it's gonna work, right? <laughs> for the bulk is all also barely hanging this one too okay let's clean the area just to see what we're working with This person probably had a talent to destroy things. <laughs> okay. I'm probably gonna start with the motors just to make sure we can salvage them before we're gonna install any lights and let's try with the hardest ones. Everything is destroyed for those two contacts, so, so we're gonna need to run the jumpers on the other side of the circuit board. This one we can probably contact in here. And this one we're gonna need to run on the on the other side. And those, yeah, those most likely we can connect here locally. Is those two gonna go to the other side? Those gonna be connected locally. So just to okay, this we're gonna run onto the other side. I mean the jumpers. This one, this one gonna be connected locally. This one gonna be connected locally, this side and that side gonna go to the other side of the board. And the rest gonna be locally. So in order to make sure we don't screw up anything, let's number the pads. So it's gonna be one, two, three, four. The other side gonna be other way. One, two, three, four. Uh, one, two. This one's gonna be one, two. Okay, the rest should be fine. So we're gonna need to know where, where to find those three contacts on the other side. Let's see 
where the contact number one goes to. Okay, it's gonna be number three here. And where the contact okay, number four here goes to number one. Okay, number two, number two we're gonna connect right here to the contact point, it's still alive. Okay, number three, Number four. Next one. Since we don't have any anchor points, uh, as like the contact points, I just melt little plastic to secure this motor right here. Let's check out the first motor. Here we go. Perfect. 